Hello and welcome to my channel Acer MRCP. I am Dr. Aparajita Roy and in today's video, I will share with you a great tip that will help you answer your MRCP theory exam questions quickly, smartly, effectively and correctly. Now many of my subscribers comment in my channel that I am a beginner and I don't have much experience in medicine. I can't study hard, I can't read textbooks, how should I start my preparation? Also people say, okay, I've done pharmacology or I've done emergency medicine. Will I be able to tackle the medicine questions that come in the MRCP theory exams? And always I keep telling them the same answer. With the right strategy and the right guidance, you will be able to correctly answer all your MRCP questions. Now, one of the key preparation strategies is to quickly master the high yield topics in all the subjects. If you have not watched my high yield topic videos, I would urge you to watch them at the beginning of your preparation as this will give you an overall idea which are the must know topics in each subject. Among these high yield topics, there are some questions that the RCP loves to repeat year after year. These questions have a set pattern or keywords in the question stem and if your preparation is top-notch, you can often guesstimate the right answer even before you have gone through the options. Now why is pattern recognition important and how can this be beneficial for your exam? Now, MRCB questions come with a long clinical stem and they have a lot of information that may distract you away from the correct option. What you need to do is focus on the keywords, the right pattern and cut out the white noise. This way you can score easy marks by getting this sure shot correct answer. Now, this goes without saying. Pattern recognition does not mean that you would not read the full question. The key bit is the pattern, the keywords and guesstimating the right answer and seeing whether it is there within the options given. The RCP is not foolish. They know that they repeat these questions and they might outsmart you by laying traps to make sure you choose the most popular wrong answer. So don't be penny wise and pound foolish. The MRCP theory exam is all about strategy. The quicker you're able to navigate through these easy or patterned questions, the more time you will be able to spare for the more difficult analytical type of questions which have a more complicated question stem. Let's look at some MRCP style questions from each subject to identify how we can apply pattern recognition to answer these questions effectively, correctly and quickly. So dermatology is one speciality where you can get a lot of questions which you can answer quickly and easily by identifying the specific pattern of the presentation. For example, in this question you can see that a lady has presented with scaly erythematous papules after an episode of sore throat. In MRCP2, you will also get picture-based questions. So let's look at a picture. This is how it looks like. This is a classic description of gutted psoriasis. Scaly erythematous papules, sore throat. Remember, it's gutted psoriasis. Do not take more than 5 to 10 seconds to answer these questions. The next example is of a 20-year-old woman who has presented with multiple violaceous flat top papules over the flexor surface of the wrists. Now this question tests two important points. Number one, whether you can correctly identify what the diagnosis is and number two, whether you know what the other presentation of this particular diagnosis is. In this question, the diagnosis points towards lichen planus and the correct answer from the given options that describes lichen planus is involvement of buccal mucosa. With these picture based questions, we can often confuse between lichen planus and dermatitis herpetiformis which has a similar looking photograph. If you are not a dermatologist, you may confuse between the two and which used to happen in my case as well. I used to remember it like lichen planus is more common in the flexor surfaces 
while dermatitis herpetiformis is more common over the extensive surfaces. So DE dermatitis in extensive surface. Okay. Again, quickly identify these questions, quickly identify the pointers, answer these questions correctly and then move on. Save time in these questions so that you can allocate more time in the questions that are more detailed. Let's look at a GI example. Now weight loss, flatulence, foul smelling diarrhea, trip to a topical country. Additionally, in this question, they have given you the test results that the anti-TTG antibodies are negative. The answer is giardiasis. Question in MRCP, they love this topic. It is restless leg syndrome. The answer is ropinirol. Another very common question they ask about restless leg syndrome is that it is associated with iron deficiency anemia. From the topic of restless leg syndrome, only these two questions come. Let's look at an example from respiratory system. This is regarding a 33 year old man who has symptoms of cough and breathlessness which deteriorate over the week and improve when he goes on a holiday. This question tests your knowledge about occupational asthma. The investigation that will be most helpful in establishing a diagnosis is serial peak flow rate measurements. This is to check the flow rate at work and when he's not at work and compare whether there is an improvement in the flow rates when the individual is off work. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say that don't waste time in these questions. Immediately identify the pointers, recognize the pattern, understand what the diagnosis is and also very important, look in the question what it is asking. Go through the options very quickly and select the correct option and move on to the next question. An example from hematology now. Again, this is a very famous classic MRCP style question. A 30 year old woman has gone for dental extraction. She has a history of hemorrhage with dental extraction 10 years previously that required suturing. This is von Willebrand disease. I hope this video has given you some insight in the key preparation strategies for your MRCP theory exam. If you have liked this video, do give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and let me know in the comment section below what other topics you would want me to make videos on. Till then, stay safe, keep studying and ace your MRCP.